Even when you think you can help it, it's just very hard not to see how disgusting and dishonest a lot of the Trudeau liberals are. Everything about lack of transparency, narcissistic policies, and apparent autocratic tendencies is what the liberal guys stand for. Justin Trudeau and his fellow liberal will stop at nothing to politically punish Canadians whom they perceive want to object to their government demands, even if it means perpetually and shamelessly covering that up or disguising that such actions are for the benefit of the people of Canada. And we found out another of the Liberals' lies and severe government overreach for political gain. A top public health Canadian epidemiologist has revealed that the COVID vaccine mandates were actually never recommended for air travel. This is a completely different narrative from what the likes of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his fellow Liberals told the people of Canada as their reasons for the strict vaccine mandates and air travel restrictions that saw many Canadians being imprisoned in their own country. And that begs many questions. Who exactly recommended the mandatory vaccination for air travel? Did the Liberals actually know all along that the vaccine mandates had no scientific basis but still played politics with Canadians' freedoms? Who exactly is telling lies here? All of these and more will be clarified in today's video, so stay and watch till the end. For our returning viewers, welcome back again on another exposure of the Liberals' bullshit. And if today is your first time joining us on this channel, then you are welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left-wing and mainstream media. Please do well to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share this video and our other videos. You can as well drop your comments in the comment sections below and turn on your post notification to stay updated on our next video uploads. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Apparently, the head epidemiologist for the Public Health Agency of Canada revealed in a cross-examination conducted by Keith Wilson, an Alberta lawyer challenging the requirements of the mandatory air travel vaccination on behalf of former Newfoundland Premier Brian Peckford. When questioned during a hearing on the validity of the travel restrictions, the top epidemiologist for the Public Health Agency of Canada said that the government agency never recommended COVID vaccinations as a requirement for air travelers. Speaking with the lawyer, the epidemiologist who was kept under anonymity for protection further said that rather than the mandatory vaccinations as a mitigation strategy that the Trudeau government has claimed was medical advice from experts, the public health agency had only communicated written advice instead, suggesting the use of masks, distancing of passengers while arriving, departing and on board the plane in a quarantine area if a traveler was sick. Here's the report from Keith Wilson himself while speaking on an episode of the Ezra Levant Show. They never recommended vaccination of air travelers. Huh. I was stunned. Huh. And I can provide you the transcript. I can provide you with her affidavit. The written advice that they provided did not identify vaccination as a mitigation strategy. They identified masking, they identified uh, spacing at arrivals, departures, and on the plane and things like that, a quarantine area if someone was sick. Um, but, and when I put it to her that they hadn't in fact recommended vaccination, this is the head epidemiologist for the government of Canada. She said, she volunteered that the reason is the scientific evidence doesn't support that it would be effective. Thank you, have it guys. And as if that isn't shocking enough, when asked for the reason the public health agency didn't include vaccine requirements in its COVID mitigation strategy, the epidemiologist had revealed that the scientific evidence did not support that it would be effective. So if the public health agency did not advise Justin Trudeau's government to issue a strict vaccine mandate for air travel, then on what basis did the Trudeau government announce that Canadians should be locked down and restricted from traveling even domestically to see their families on the other side of the country? On what basis or medical advice did the Liberals also suspend the travel mandates after making life hell for the people of Canada, many of whom couldn't be with their families in their last moments while they battle cancer and other major ailments? Many of them couldn't be with their kids and old parents, nor could they be with their loved ones involved in ghastly accidents. Clearly, it turns out that Justin Trudeau and his fellow Liberal guys lied to Canadians again. It turns out that the whole mandate wasn't about safety like the Trudeau Liberals lied that they were meant to be. It turns out they were just another political punishment for Canadians who object to this narcissistic, vile, and dishonest government demands. The Liberals knew all along that the vaccine mandates for air travel had no scientific basis but still went ahead to play politics with the freedom and lives of the people of Canada. It was all just a dictator's idea. You know, it's just so astounding that progressive liberalism most often speaks to compassion, inclusiveness, and tolerance, all of which are worthy goals. And yet, the Trudeau Liberals are unable to comprehend true empathy and worse yet is their utter contempt for the very values they profess to represent. It turns out the narcissistic and egomaniac liberal government did not just play politics with the fundamental charter rights of Canadians with the strict vaccine mandates that saw most of the people of Canada unable to fly domestically and see their beloved families and loved ones, 
but also play politics with Canadians' lives and mental health. Yes, because there are a significant number of Canadians who would be forever hurt by the fact that they were not with their loved ones in their last moments due to Justin Trudeau's selfish decision. Apparently, the same thing happened with the invocation of the Emergencies Act on the Freedom Convoy protesters earlier this year. Justin Trudeau had continuously lied to the people of Canada that the police department requested for the act to be invoked until the police came to debunk such a claim that they never asked for the Emergency Act to be invoked by the Liberals. And now the medical experts advice that the Trudeau Liberals had lied to Canadians as the basis for the strict vaccine travel mandates turns out to be nothing but solid lies once again. It's just really saddening to wonder just what exactly has the Trudeau Liberal government not lied about or misled the public on. And worse yet is not knowing what next they would lie about. That will be all on today's video, guys. Please let us know your view on this gross dishonesty and subtle autocracy of Justin Trudeau and the liberals in the comment section below. Please ensure to leave a like for this video, share it with as many people as possible, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for our next upload. You should also check some of our other videos and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.